The lockdown has seen so many artists using the online platform to showcase their performances. This South African-born comedian, Kevin Fraser, has decided to come up with a show for his fans around the globe and will donate 10% of every ticket sold towards those in dire need of assistance in the South African communities affected and afflicted by the COVID-19 pandemic. He now joins us now via Skype. Uh, a very good morning to you, Kevin. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thank you very much, Sibiu. I'm good. How are you? I'm um, great, man. How has the lockdown been treating you so far uh, in terms of acclimatizing to this new way of doing things? It's been mixed emotions so far. You know, a roller coaster deal with the fact that I can't perform on stage and having to do everything from a very small space whilst obeying uh, all the rules in place. Okay, Kevin, uh, talk to us about how your craft of uh, music and comedy have, uh, have, have you survived since you cannot perform before a crowd in a theater, for example. I think for me, it's been a case of every day or at least every week trying to bring people some sort of joy in their day amongst the stresses and stuff of everyday life. Just doing a video every day, maybe dancing around the kitchen or the lounge and just posting stuff on social media. And it's now gotten to a point where I can create a digital show um, that I can bring to people and hopefully bring some more joy during this period whilst I can't be on stage. Now, you have a show planned for the 4th of July, I understand, and this will take place online, and 10% of every ticket sold will go towards helping those in dire need. Take us through uh, how you will make sure that the funds are distributed accordingly. Yeah, so I've been working with some, some lovely people in uh, GPs in Cape Town who are very active within the communities, um, people that are really, really needing assistance, especially those community doctors and stuff that are, that are on the front line and they're needing all sorts of uh, personal protective equipment to be able to continue working with those that have been affected with the virus. So I'm trying to put myself in a position where I can donate that 10% of funds from doing my show towards those that are on the front line because without those healthcare workers we were in a much more weaker position and who will oversee the disbursement of these funds that will be up to me okay i will take the, the destruction that has been made uh, by this pandemic is deeply rooted in terms of it. Uh, it'll take time for life to recover. How, how far do you think uh, an effort like this one can go for the needy? I think it's also about uh, consistency, setting an example. Perhaps a fellow artist can also take a stance in their own right and, and also follow a similar trend because obviously this thing is not going to go away for some time. Um, it may get worse, it may get better, it may come back again. So it's up to us all to take action and just make a small difference where we can and hopefully it'll go a long way at the end of the day. So have you already identified those communities that stand to benefit? Yeah, I'm, I'm taking influence from a lot of people that are coming to, to me and, and saying to me, we need help here, we need help there, across South Africa. And I'm going to identify and be open with my audience and everyone who is coming to purchase a ticket to the show and saying, right, what, what is the, the area that needs the most assistance right now and how can we work together and make sure that that is seen through right to the end? Because there's obviously a lot of areas and we can't do everything at once, but we can at least make a stance and go for the go make a start rather and then go forward from there but in essence Ke uh, uh, kevin uh, what is the criteria what is it that you look out for for you to be able to decide uh, to allocate uh, you know a certain portion of the proceeds to that particular organization I think in, in, in the first instance, it's about looking at um, the, the biggest factor I'm finding is being able to protect ourselves and protect others from getting COVID-19. And that comes in a situation where you need uh, personal protective equipment. And I think that by putting those kinds of measures in place first, we can, we can work towards prevention and using that as a starting point, I think. We know that, um, you know, as a comedian and you host a comedy show, you need that sort of vibe, I mean, to keep you going. You need that, that, that sort of feedback from your audience. So if you do a solo show like online, um, I suppose you are, you are alone in that room, in that, that particular room where you do that show. Uh, so does that not affect you, the fact that there's no uh, vibe from the audience or feedback perhaps? Oh, it's affected me so much, not being able to break the fourth wall, so to speak, to be able to, like, 
communicate to people or, and feed off of people that are in front of you. Now you're all of a sudden performing to a camera lens and you, you're just missing that, that engagement. Uh, so it's, it, I think it's affected me and I'm, I'm sure a lot of performance. So it's a huge pill to swallow to be able to try and deliver your best performance whilst there's no one there watching you in the physical form. Yeah. Yeah. And give us details for those who'd like to attend the show. Sure. So they can quite simply go into howler.co.za and get their tickets um, from there. You can search Kevin Fraser um, and you'll find my show there, my comedy series uh, called Behind the Voices. And yeah, it's quite simple. Everything's up on there. Or you can follow me at Kevin Fraser Official on all social media. Listen to me saying that uh, for those who would like to attend the show, yet they will be watching the show. But in, in a way, they will be attending in the comfort of their own homes, isn't it? That's you just have to put on your pajamas and your slippers and you go straight to the lounge and that's your seat. <laughs> Great chatting to you, Kevin. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Bye. All right, that is Kevin Fraser talking to us about his comedy show to take place on the 4th of July online. And uh, as we've heard, 10% of every ticket bought will go towards assisting those in dire need as we are faced with the COVID-19 pandemic. It is 7.43. Let's take a quick break. We'll have more in a moment.